All right, hi guys, and welcome to another video. So I made a video on a behemoth gate box, which is for behemoth explaining on how to do this. So it's put up on pillars to get a nice flush finish on the roof. To do this, it's a seven by seven box. And then you basically place the fence foundations in the middle of the two ceilings. All right, that's all said and good. Check and see if I have a behemoth gate really quick. No, I don't, okay. Um, not too much to explain about that, but you can see right here, uh, it's seven across. This is where it would be coming to uh, because this is seven without an extra ceiling. The fence foundation would be coming out right here so you'd be placing it right on the line, just like that. Uh, you want it to be directly in the center if you want it to be a 7x7, seven seven, otherwise you have to go 8x8, eight eight, and that would create offsets, so it wouldn't be completely fluid. But I'm also going to go over something else in this video, and what I'm going to be going over is how to effectively place pillars for your base. Now, I'm not going to be going over what to do after you already have a base and you want to add more pillars and expand it. I'm just going to be going over setting it up. So I'm going to get out of fly mode really quick. And give you a first person perspective on this. So let's say I want that up there down here. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to find the lowest point. Let's say I want to start it right here. I'm going to find the lowest point and I'm just going to start snapping pillars. Now uh, that's in the way, so. Okay, well, I would just use a pickaxe and get rid of that, whatever. So you get the pillars, get the pillars. Normally when you build on pillars, you usually want to go uh, too tall. This is mainly one of the reasons right here. Don't ask questions about the long neck rifle. You can't, probably can't find it in single player. I'll just show you it really quick. I mean, you probably can't find it in multiplayer. Uh, I use the command to add it. So this is the reason why you want to go too tall right here, is when you're building on a really uneven surface. There you go. It snaps in at two pillars tall. So now everything will be perfectly straight at two pillars tall. Um, I would recommend going two to three pillars. I would not suggest doing one pillar. If you really want to worry about your base and the structure and stuff like that, you could do every single possible location for the pillar. But as you can see, there is a slight gap right here. It's one of the issues with going every single pillar. I haven't done a lot of testing on that, but I'm not sure whether or not the ceiling would clip to it. So let's do that really quick. Get rid of some stuff. Alright, so it looks like this would be a, an effective way to stack the ceilings. We're doing offsets. So 
So we could have our two thick wall here. With another wall at half distance. Voila. So we could theoretically do more than two thick. We could do three thick ceilings with offsets. Could be nice. So there we go. There's with the pillars. Uh, the biggest thing when you're placing pillars is starting from the lowest point. Now, if you're going up and over an area, uh, you're going to have to do double ceilings. So you're probably going to start with thatch, and then you're going to place a metal ceiling on top of the thatch, and you just leave the thatch there. So then you could otherwise replace the thatch with another layer of metal, and that would be how you went about doing the too thick. And if you were doing such, I would suggest not starting with the original pillar that you placed, but starting with one in the center, if you're going about doing it that way. So let's say this is the first pillar that I placed, assuming it's the lowest point. The pillar that I placed right next to it would be where I start my ceilings. So assuming this is thatch, I'd just be going across with thatch. And then I would place my actual metal ceiling on top of that. And then, I mean, people aren't going to be able to get through your pillars. They're going to have to blow, you know, eight, nine pillars before they're going to be walls, etc., etc. And you're going to have the smooth ceilings. Now, like I was saying, uh, the reason why you would want to start with that is because if you were to start from the other side of something. So let's say I start right here and I want to go over there. Let me place my pillars. And then I'm going to run into a problem where I don't have a snap where I want to descend. That's where your ceilings are going to come into play. And you're going to be putting the pillar through the ceilings into the ground. But you're going to have that. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Let's do a little test really quick. All right, so we're going to start at the second, not the first, but the second. We're going to come out to here, the pillar down. Then we're going to start from the first, put this across. So here's our result. You still get a little bit, but here is what you're capable of doing with that. So I'm not exactly sure actually how people do this, but when I find out, I'll be sure to delete this video and re-upload a new one. Uh, if you guys have any comments on this, please feel free to comment. Alright, thanks for your time.